I'm on my way to a very interesting agility event. Today we'll be running training agility competition where we'll try four of the agility world championship courses. Uh, we'll be running only jumping courses today and well they won't be exactly the same courses because well first you can't uh, build the same course twice like the angles and distances a little bit change and also the place where we'll be running today isn't exactly as large as the championship arena but in general we'll be trying agility world championship courses those are very hard courses as most of you prob probably know Maybe you watched the Agility World Championships or maybe you saw on the internet the runs that Latvia did or any other countries did. If not, uh, there is this very interesting account, it's Sovita Mozeika, where you can see most of the Agility runs that were done last week. So go check it out if you're interested. <coughs> I'm really, really excited about the idea. I'm very happy that the girls uh, from Team, Team Latvia came up with it. And I hope uh, it becomes uh, a sort of a tradition for us. At the championships, I received a lot of questions uh, whether I'd like to compete myself in the World Agility Championships. Am I planning to do that? And I can tell you that yes, I do want to compete in Agility World Championships. I'm an, an ambitious person and I'm that sort of person who like wants to be at the top level. And yes, I do want to compete in the World Agility Championships, but uh, not right now. I don't feel that uh, me and Mio are ready and I have accepted the idea that uh, Mio might never be ready for World Championships um, because, well, we are in, as a team, we are not that reliable and I have like huge stress management issues and until we deal with that stuff, uh, we can't really run at the World GOP Championships because it's super, super stressful and you just, it, and it's so emotional that you can't deal with it if you're not uh, mentally stable and so that's the reason why um, even if someone said, like right now, that uh, okay, here's your ticket to the World Championships, you can run in the Team Latvia, um, I think I'd pass. Even though um, it is a dream of mine, um, I wouldn't want to ruin it. And also, I think that to run such a stressful event right now would be very detrimental to our training. Uh, it would uh, throw us back. So I have accepted the idea that Mio might never run at the World Agility Championships, but also I can't really predict that because uh, Mio is still a very young dog. She will turn uh, four years old uh, next month. So uh, for agility dog, for first dog, it's uh, still quite young. And so I don't really know what will happen, but yes, I do want to run in World Agility Championships. I just don't know when and with uh, what dog. So nice to see the confidence with which I can leave Mia on the start line. Oh, it's simply the best thing ever. And I'm a little bit sorry about the quality of, of those videos, like we didn't have that many people, so we didn't have anyone to film them. And this is the type of mistake that I really hate in our team, like me and Mio, because Mio was clearly going for the jump and I was trying to run away for, to get to the ne next jump and then she made the refusal because I was starting away too quickly, but... Uh, we really need to work on this. And here comes the disqualification. Mia was supposed to jump from the back side. She jumped from the wrong side and now I'm too slow and like like everything is messed up. In general, very, very happy with the run. Uh, mostly I'm really happy that uh, Mio had perfect start line. That was my goal for today, to do start lines, to train them. And I just want to check if I can start doing them in real competition. This is not as stressful. And so I'm trying to check. This is like the middle ground between 
trainings which are absolutely not stressful and then competitions are stressful and this is a little bit stressful and if Mia can sit in those conditions I think she can sit in competitions so I'll start trying doing start lines so that's very nice very very happy about that uh, well stupid disqualification my mistake and the refusal was also my mistake I like I started running away too fast but in general I'm very very happy I think I ran fast enough uh, we could definitely manage this course it wasn't hard for us super exciting stuff super super happy uh, me as very nice uh, happy with my performance uh, even though those two mistakes were eh, those are typical my mistakes Here you can see that like it isn't always easy to leave Mio on the start line. She's shouting at me, she's jumping away, she really is not intending to stay and I really have to push her and tell her no, you have to stay and that's the main reason why I really love this training competition that I got to do that with confidence. And oh, almost too slow but managed to save myself. But in general, this course is going really, really well. I'm really proud about Mio and how well she's running. Well, I'm a little bit slow. She's like looking at me, asking me what, what she's supposed to do. But in general, we're running really well. I'm happy and nice tunnel entrance, no looking at me. And I really like our rear crosses, but like we should work on them more and we are actually working on them more. I bloody can't believe this! We ran clean run! Yay! Uh, and this was one of the harder runs that I really didn't like this course. Very, very, very happy. I almost got one refusal, but we managed to pull it through. I'm super, super happy. Don't know how fast it was and don't, know, don't even care, care that much. Super exciting stuff. Who's the best agility terrier? Mio is the best agility terrier! Yay! This time I left uh, like longer intros on our uh, courses because I just wanted to show what it looks like like when I'm trying to leave Mio on the start line and how I have to fight with her like on every step and that's one of the reasons why I haven't been doing it and you look like I'm going away, she's coming with me and I have to go back and tell her stay. And this time she is staying, but I started running. I was way too far from that jump. I was basically running like if Mio was a large dog, not a small dog who is not used to jumping away from me. And that's why she made that refusal. That was basically my mistake. I wasn't in the wrong spot. And again, I'm like a bit too far from the jump. Like I'm really running this run as if I have a large dog, which feels very weird. But at least up to this point, like uh, Mia is kind of running with me, everything seems to be going fine. And oh, then she decided not to do backside jumps, which was honestly a surprise for me, but I'm very, very happy about this handling choice. But again, no backside jump, like, and I think I didn't know that when I was running, and it's quite surprising. Well, this is what you get when you start telling good things about your terrier, and then you go to the next course, and suddenly she doesn't know what to do here, and she still won't run. That's terrier for you. But in general, like, I'm not upset. Um, I'm also happy that I got to test uh, like a situation in start line where Mio didn't want to sit uh, but I still got her to stay there that's really really nice that's what I really needed and all well, the rest of the mistakes were half mine half Mio's like it was the occasion where um, I'm really trusting her and I know that she can do it in that way like with, with less help from my side and then she's not doing and I should be helping her more and uh, oh well um, Overall, I'm happy, 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 and mostly I'm happy about start lines, and I'm happy that I tried some handling choices that I wouldn't normally do, but they worked very well, so yes. 
and here's yet another nice day but I just started running a little bit late like I already allowed Mio to start running and I didn't start running and I think that's the reason why she dropped the bar but the good thing is that while running I didn't know that the bar dropped so I didn't know that uh, anything was wrong and that's a, that is a really really good thing for my mindset and basically for any handler's mindset and here comes a very very hard part like the dog has to jump away from you and then you have to really run to get on time and then on this time um, I decided to do the handling that Germans did and I tried it and it worked okay two clean runs is way more than I expected and four almost perfect starts says oh my god I'm all over the place super super happy and ironically uh, this was the only course that uh, I really wanted to run when I was watching World Championships and then before the training competition we could vote for the courses that we want to run and this was the only course that I really voted for and then I started learning it and I realized that the course is way way harder than it looked uh, from the side when you're actually learning it you realize that this is a hard course and when I was running it well, in the finish I realized that I have no stamina to finish it and luckily Mio really saved me, she was just like, it was quite a straight line, she was just going on herself on her, and she was just going on herself, so super super happy, super excited, this was very very unexpected and this was, this was really what we needed and, but yeah, the fact that um, as a champion, it's really funny because when I was looking from the side, I really thought that, well, this is the, not the, let's not say easiest, but like the course that uh, me and me would be most likely to run well. And then I was running it and I was running the other courses and I realized, nope, it's not, totally not. It was the hardest course today. Okay, so in the award ceremony I got to know that uh, the last course actually wasn't clean run, it was uh, with one drop bar. But it's a really really good thing that I didn't know it on the course, because it's always very easier to run if you don't know there are any mistakes. And so I was running as if, as if it's a clean run and that's a very very nice thing. Uh, <laughs> well, I, this was a funny stupid thing, like on the, they are giving awards for the last course. And I realized that on the third place they are going a corgi, and I realized that we don't have any award. And my shock was not because I don't have any award, it's like we ran clean run and we were slower than a corgi, really. And then I realized that okay, we dropped bar, and oh, so I would be quite shocked if we would have been so slow, so something wouldn't have been right in my mind. But uh, anyway, we got an award for the second course that we did clean. It's a first place. Super, super happy. And look how cute this is. Very, very nice. Uh, very, very excited about today. It was really what I needed today. I met my goals. Before this uh, competition, I had two goals. My main goal was to really test the start stays and to really force Mia to stay and uh, I was ready to like return her to the start even if we were disqualified because of it and on all four courses we did it that's that was main goal check done really happy I'll try to do star courses from now on in the competitions let's see how that goes and my second goal was to treat everything with uh, more humor to laugh more about our mistakes and I think it, I met that too I didn't feel stressed and this was a very very good day uh, it started raining immediately after we finished the runs like everyone finished the runs and that's a nice coincidence that uh, we don't have to run in the rain and very very happy about today heading home if you like this video and if you want to see more of us running agility and me talking about agility don't forget to subscribe